Watch out, toilet. I'm coming for you. What's up, y'all? I'm Reed the Fishmonger, and today we're gonna play Escolar, the fish that was banned in Japan in 1977 for giving you the runs. All right, guys, so this fish is known for giving you the runs. It's also known for being extremely delicious. It has up to a 22% fat content, and that is like a super fatty fish. And what they say is as long as you eat under six ounces at a time, you don't have to worry about the digestive issues. But today, we're gonna eat more than six ounces to put that to the test. Da 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 da. Wow, look how beautiful that meat is, guys. And this meat right here, that's over where the ribs were, that is absolutely delicious stuff. We're gonna shave that off. And since I'm gonna be eating this raw, any of this little discoloration is gonna come off. Yeah, that's a prime piece right there. That's gonna be a part of our snacking. Cut the other side. You guys, the knife just glides right through this fish. It's insane. I don't know how it's actually only a 22% fat content. It feels like it's a 30 plus percent fat content. All right, guys, on your Escalar, you wanna make sure you pop that head off. And these things' spines are so soft, they just come right off. These collars are super buttery, just like the rest of the fish. And if you're willing to risk it all for a good meal, then you wanna eat the collars too. We're gonna puncture the membrane right underneath those gills. This bone on the top of the collar rests on this bone on the bottom half of the collar. You just slide your knife right underneath them and it just pops out just like that. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Puncture those gills. Then we're going to find that floating bone. You can see it a little better on this side. That'll just pop right out, just like that. Go like this. Trim them up a little bit. We'll have to clean them up a little bit more. But these Escalar collars, phenomenal. If you've ever had Hamachi collars, it's gonna be very similar, but these will be even fattier. All right, let's trim up our filet. You guys, it's such a shame that this fish gives you the runs because it's like eating butter. All right, y'all, this is the low loin. This is the belly. And this is the high loin. Where the separation is here on the high loin is where there's a lot of sinew. So the best raw preparation on these fish, for me, on the high loin, is gonna be right here. And I call this the eye of the high loin. And if you can see those rings, you see why I call it the eye of the high loin. This piece, the bottom of the high loin, I like to cook. And this right here is what I like to eat raw. A quick word from the FDA. They would like you to have your fish frozen before you eat it raw. If you're using an at-home freezer, you, they're gonna want you to have it in that freezer for at least five days. If you're using a freezer that's even colder, you can reduce that time. So if you're in a, a commercial or a retail setting, look it up, make sure you're within the rules and put in your appropriate disclaimers. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's eat this fresh, never frozen fish raw. All right guys, just like a tuna, I take a spoon, 
and I scrape that meat off on off the skeleton. Watch out, toilet. I'm coming for you. All right, guys, it's time for the Escolar over six ounces challenge. The rule of thumb, eat less than six ounces and you'll be all right. We're gonna eat more than six ounces. It's such a shame that this fish gives you the runs. And it's not just runs, it's, it's stomach cramps, it's nausea. It is like there's a multitude of symptoms that come with eating too much of this fish. There's a reason why Japan banned it in 1977. It's not just like, oh, like you took a crap. No, it's, it's um, a bit worse than that. But I mean, just look at that. That is phenomenal looking fish. All right, we got a little over six ounces right here. We got this really nice rib meat that I cut off. And then we've got the skeleton meat. We're gonna throw this on the scale, see how much it weighs, and eat all of it. I don't know if you can see, but we've got a 0 0.03 tear on this scale. This deli cup weighs 0 0.02, so that way, no gimmicks, no games. We've got 0 0.62 there. So that is about 10 ounces. The recommendation is six ounces. We're almost doubling it. <sighs> Let's get to it. To be completely honest with you guys, I am mildly nervous about eating 10 ounces of Escalar in one sitting at one time. This video wasn't planned out. The fisherman just caught a fish, called me, and here we are. Otherwise, I might have made something a little bit more appetizing to go with it, but a little bit of soy sauce. It's a delicious fish on its own, so. Mm. It really is such a delicious fish. We got a lot to go still. I don't want uh, any like gimmicks or games. I want it known that I am eating all of this. So maybe, uh, maybe we'll just fast forward it so that way you don't have to sit through this whole thing. But there won't be any cuts. I do not recommend this. When I say I don't recommend it, like, please don't do this. I'm a trained professional. I spend at least an hour on the toilet on my phone a day. Escalar, absolutely delicious fish. It's not as yummy when you're eating 10 ounces at a time with just soy sauce. But you guys, thanks for watching. Hope you have a killer day. And uh, well, I don't know if this is the end of the video or not. I'm gonna be sending Cam some footage uh, from the office later, you know what I mean? See you guys. All right, you guys, good news and bad news. The good news is after eating 10 ounces of Escolar, I've had zero abdominal pain, zero stomach cramps, um, zero discomfort in my bowel movements. But what I have had was the most bizarre bowel movement I have ever had in my entire life um, and I've had multiple of them um, throughout this 24 hour period. I wish I could show you pictures because it is so mind blowing, but I'll, I'll save you that one. You guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you all have a killer day. Later.